If you're constantly tired after meals and hungry again an hour later, or carrying stubborn belly fat that refuses to shift even when you're doing everything right, then there's a good chance insulin resistance is involved. It's one of the most common yet least understood issues in men's health, and it's quietly destroying progress for millions of guys who have no idea it's even happening. But what most men don't know is that with the right plan, you can start reversing it in just 30 days. And the first step has nothing to do with cutting out carbs or starving yourself. So in this video, we'll cover what insulin resistance really is, how to spot the warning signs and the practical plan you can start today to fix it. These are the same strategies I've used with hundreds of guys who've wanted to balance their blood sugar, lose the stubborn fat and get their energy back without any crazy diets or extreme workout plans. So let's full screen the video and lock in. Let's start with what's actually happening in your body. You see, when you eat, your body breaks down food into something called glucose. That's your main fuel. Think of insulin as the key that helps move that glucose from the blood into your cells where it's used as energy. But with insulin resistance, that lock on the cell door starts to jam and your body has to pump out more insulin to get the same job done. Over time, those constant high levels of insulin tell your body to store more fat, especially around the belly. That means you can be eating well, training hard and doing everything right, and still feel like you're gaining fat for no reason. But it's not just about your waistline. When insulin resistance builds up, it messes with everything. Your mood, your focus, your sleep, and even your hormones. It's one of those problems that starts quietly, but then slowly chips away at every system in your body. But the good news, once you understand it, you can reverse it way faster than you think. But... How do you know if it's affecting you? Because most people walking around with insulin resistance have absolutely no idea. Well, here are the red flags I look for with my clients. You crash after meals with heavy eyelids, brain fog, and maybe that urge to nap. You get hangry sooner than you should and crave quick fixes like biscuits and crisps and fizzy drinks. Or you wake up tired even when you've had enough sleep. Now, if two or more of those sound familiar, stay with me because this next part is where we turn that around. But before we fix it, let's clear up two myths that keep people stuck. Myth number one, you can hammer cardio and sweat it out. No. You cannot out-jog insulin resistance. Endless cardio can make you hungrier, it will raise your cortisol, and it actually makes things worse in the long term. Myth number two, you have to cut out carbs completely. Again, that isn't true. That's actually the quickest way to burn out and rebound. So if it's not about punishment or restriction, well, what actually works? Fixing insulin resistance comes down to four levers. Food, movement, sleep, and stress. Pull all four even imperfectly, and you'll feel the difference within weeks. Let's start with your food. The goal isn't to eat no carbs, it's to flatten the spikes, because big sugar spikes lead to big crashes, which lead to big cravings. So here's what I do. Protein first, every meal, whether it's eggs, yogurt, chicken, or fish, whatever you prefer. Protein keeps you full, it protects your muscles, and it steadies that blood sugar. Half your plate should be vegetables, a quarter lean protein, and a quarter smart carbs like potato, rice, or oats. And if you do eat a high-carb meal, Pair it with movement. A short walk after eating can drop your blood sugar by up to 30%. It's honestly one of the easiest hacks you'll ever use. And for the next 30 days, cut sugary drinks and desserts down to weekends only. That one change alone, it'll make a huge difference. Now for the next lever, movement. And this one might surprise you because it has absolutely nothing to do with calorie burn. I want you to think of every workout as a signal to your body. You're telling it to use sugar for fuel again. The more lean muscle you have, the more sugar your muscles need, which makes it much harder for it to build up. You see, muscles act like a sponge for glucose. The more muscle you have, the better your insulin sensitivity. So make lifting weights three times a week and non-negotiable. The sessions don't need to be two hours long or overly complicated. Focus on big compound moves like squats, rows, push-ups, presses, two or three sets per move, control tempo, and add a little bit of weight each week. That's called progressive overload. And then walk. 10 to 20 minutes after every meal. It sounds simple, but if you only did that, three short walks a day, you'd be shocked at the difference in energy levels in the blood sugar control within two weeks. Now, pillar number three looks boring on paper, but it is honestly the secret weapon, and that is sleep. You see, when you don't sleep enough, your body makes less insulin-sensitive tissue and pumps out more cortisol. It's the perfect storm for fat storage. So defend your eight-hour sleep window. You don't need to be asleep for eight hours, but seven hours of high-quality sleep will honestly change your life. So go dark, go cool, and go screen free for at least half an hour before bed. And if you can, get outside within 30 minutes of waking. That morning light helps to set your body clock and will help set you up for a better night's sleep the next night. Two good nights sleep in a row will really help you to build some momentum and it can completely change how you look at your appetite. And finally, the most overlooked part of this whole puzzle, lever number four, is stress. Because chronic stress keeps your insulin high even when your diet's on point. But you don't need an hours-long meditation. You just need a daily 
off switch. Now that might be a 20 minute phone free walk after work. It could be venting to your mates. It could be doing the evening shutdown routine I just spoke about or simply writing down tomorrow's top three tasks so your brain doesn't rehearse them all night. It's all about small, consistent, de-stressing habits that make a huge impact. All right, let's pull all of this together into your 30-day reset. So week number one is all about simplifying. Protein first, three structured meals, 10-minute post-meal walks, and defend your sleep window. That's it. You'll already notice steadier energy by the end of this week. Week two is to start building your strength. This is where we're going to add three resistance sessions. You're teaching your body to use glucose properly again. Week three, we're going to dial in your timing. So we're going to tidy up your breakfast and your dinner. If you eat carbs, you're going to pair them with movement and you'll start to notice your cravings fading this week. And then week number four is when you consolidate. By now, you're going to feel lighter and clearer. You're going to choose your go-to meals, schedule your training, and make these habits your new normal. A few quick questions that always come up. Do you have to fast? Not unless you like it. If you prefer breakfast, eat it. If you don't, don't. Because consistency matters much more than timing. Number two, what if you mess up? Well, you will. Everyone does. The rule is simple. Just never miss twice. If Friday goes off the rails, don't wait for Monday. Just get started again on Saturday. But here's what I want you to take away from all of this. Fixing insulin resistance isn't being about being perfect for 30 days. It's about proving to yourself that you can feel like you again. When your energy's back, when your hunger's stable, when you wake up ready to go, you realize that you were never born lazy or broken. Your body's just needed the right plan. But listen, if you've been stuck in this cycle for a while and you are sick of second-guessing yourself and still not seeing results, then I'd love to help. My coaching program gives you the blueprint for exactly what to do, day by day, so there's no wasted effort and no guesswork. I'll hold you accountable when motivation fades. I'll guide you when you hit those brick walls. And I'll make sure you don't give up when life gets busy. So if you're ready to stop winging it and start following a proven system that's already helped hundreds of men just like you to conquer their inner bitch, build a lean, strong body they're proud of and get their edge back, then click the link under this video. Or if you're brand new to my channel and not ready to jump on the program just yet, then you can check out this video next where I break down the six easy steps you can use to get under 15% body fat, no matter how old you are. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.